Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Saturday. It is December the 31st, 2016. I'm going to look at the featured eighth race from Aqueduct, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections from racetracks across the world as my cats are fighting on the opposite side of the. Uh, the room. Um, today's eighth race from Aqueduct is the um, is the Alex M. Rob Stakes. Purse hundred thousand dollars. It's for three year olds New York breds here. Uh, we have a field of seven three year olds uh, and upwards uh, traveling the distance of ground of a mile and a sixteenth on the inner dirt course. Inner dirt. And uh, my top pick in the spot. We'll go to the seven horse here. Number seven, a bit of a long odds here. Uh, the seven horse, good luck, Gus. I'm gonna go seven four two six. Seven four two six. Number seven, good luck, Gus. Ten to one, Angel Arroyo on this four-year-old colt trained by Rudy Rodriguez. The sire of this horse is looking at Lefty, the winner of the 2010. Preakness, I believe. Um, but uh, last time out, this horse hasn't started in about two months. October 22nd was his last start at Belmont on a very sloppy racetrack, Mile and Eighth in the Empire Classic. Horse finished six by ten and a half lengths that day. And, you know, wasn't catching Royal Posse, who was a winner in that start out in the uh, Claiming Crown. This horse just, I don't know if he got a handle of the racetrack. Something I have noticed horses that really did not like the racetrack that day have been firing very well off off that uh, next start out. So I, I have a feeling this horse is going to be running a big one. Um, but um, start before, this horse ran 10 to 25th at Laurel. Bad a mile 16th in the lounge race for $53,000. Horse finished fourth by three and three quarter lengths as a 70 cents to the dollar favorite. You know, he was just a bit out finished that day. Was dueling early on, set some pretty, you know, decent fractions, but just really couldn't keep up with them. It was a disappointing... Um, Lost as a favorite that day. And then it's 10 to the 2nd at Saratoga, Mom 8th at the Evan Spitman. Uh, this horse finished 5th by 9.5 lengths behind Royal Posse, who won next start out. Again, this horse was just wide, wasn't into it against a little better horses. I think in this spot he should do well. He is 3 and 2 on the uh, inner track. And uh, he finished third in this race last year by three like behind Empire Dreams, who's running back into this race again uh, this year. But, uh, you know, he's 3-2 and two on the inner track. The, the only loss came this race last year. He won the Haynes Field Stakes last February on this racetrack. He had to go back to early 2015 for his other inner track victory. But I think this horse could really give a little bit of an upset here. Like I said, that, that track at, Aqu at Belmont uh, last start out was... Not, Horses that um, did not handle the track have been running back out of uh, next start out and been running very good, you know. So watch out for this one to have a very good run. So to recap my best racing rate from Aqueduct, it is the Alex M. Rob Stakes. Going to go with the seven horse here. Going to go seven, four, two, six, and be super effective. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.